This is why you shouldn't follow your heart when it comes to your dreams and goals, right? Now, disclaimer off the rip. This is not a video killing your dreams and hopes and what you're passionate about. That's not what this video is about. It's more of a realistic outlook of how life really is, right? You see people on the internet, you see your celebrities, you see your athletes, you know what I'm saying? They're saying, follow your heart, you know, do what you have a passion to do. And I believe in that to an extent. But if you're 25 years old and you're just going to follow your dreams, well, don't you have to fund a place to stay? Don't you have to, you know what I'm saying, pay bills and all this stuff to survive? You don't want to be homeless, right? Because if you misconstrue what these people are saying, you're going to be in a messed up position, right? And so... I'm going to give you guys a more realistic standpoint of what following your dreams and goals looks like, right? So it is important that you find what, you, what you're passionate about. Whether you love knitting, whether you love making YouTube videos like me, whether you like, um, you know, drawing, doing music, whatever it is, right? You have to find what makes you happy, what, what makes you passionate, right? Because at the very least, you can just get, do that in your spare time for your happiness and, you know, your self-validation. And I just want to remind you guys before we get too far into the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, if you like the video. I appreciate you guys supporting me. Um, So, What's a more realistic way of doing this, right? You know, you may be a young person. Maybe you're trying to um, follow your dreams and goals. Maybe you already know what you're supposed to do, right? What you love doing. Well, the first misconception is it's going to take a while for you to do it, right? Especially... If it's something where you don't make money off the rip or if, you're, or if you're not a beginner and you can like be a trainee and still get paid from it, right? Because if it's one of those jobs where you have to build it up over time for you to establish an audience and to establish a clientele, well, at first, it's not going to be smart for you to just do that off the rip. Because you got bills to pay. You got things to do, right? You don't want to be living in your car. You don't want to be homeless. So you're going to have to work a job part-time or full-time and then build up your clientele or your business or whatever you want to do in your free time. You're going to have to find time to make these things work, right? Because this is the, this is the thing we have to come to grips with. Sometimes what you're passionate about doesn't pay, right? Maybe it's not in demand in the economy. Maybe it's not bringing value to other people, right? It's just simply a joy that you have in your spare time, right? So if it doesn't pay, you're going to have to get a job that pays decent for you to live on until you build up a certain amount of clientele or you, sometimes whatever it is, it might not even be in demand, like I said earlier. So you can't even really make a living off of it, right? So you might have to, this is what the next point is. You're going to have to find a work balance, right? You're going to have to work and then find a way to do what you're passionate about. Because I understand what people say when they say you gotta find your purpose, you gotta find things you like doing, you have a passion to do. Because if you have a passion to do it, you're gonna endure the bad times. You're gonna endure you know, what it takes to get it up, to build it up. But the thing, the thing with that is, 
once you're working a job that you hate, you can't just work a job you hate either. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to want to do it and you're not going to have the work ethic or the passion to do it. Right. So you're going to have to find out a happy medium between the two. Then also, too, you guys need to really examine, really examine whenever it comes to your passion and what you love doing, right? Because let's say your passion is music. Well, you may want to make, you know, romance music, but people want to hear you talk about, you know, sad stories. So your music is going to be purely about making sad content musical content, right? You gotta cater to a certain audience. You can't just go out there and make the kind of music that you wanna make all the time. You have to make club music. You gotta make, you know, sad music. You gotta make romance music, right? And that kind of kill, and looking at it from a creative's perspective, it could possibly kill your creativity, right? Because you have to be more Methodical. You can't just be, you know, a free spirit and just make whatever comes to you. You have to cater to an audience and make and deliberately make over and over a certain amount of content. Now, some people that's going to wear you out and it's going to kill your job. And you're going to hate that passion. Right. But that is a key outlook that we need to examine when it comes to following your heart. Right. So you're going to have to find a work um, balance until you can build that up. You're going to have to work a job full time until you can build that up in your spare time. And it's going to be tiring. You're going to be mentally tired, emotionally tired, but it is what it is, right? You would rather spend that year and a half, two years, three years doing that and building it up than to work a job that you hate, right? If you like me, you want to be in control of your schedule, right? That's what motivates me. The amount of freedom I have and the amount of control I have over my life once I have my own business or whatnot. So also you got to find a job. You can't depend on what you want to do. Now, if you're an engineer, you can go to college and, you know, Right after college, you can be making 70, 80, 90, 100 K a year. And that's your passion. That's good. You might have to get a certification in your passion. But after you get that certification, you're good. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to wait, you know, a, a certain amount of time. Right. And also, too, you need to examine if that's really what you're passionate about. Is that really what you want to do? Because. You're going to have to get into that field and depending on what field it is, you're going to have to cater and do repetitive con content towards a targeted audience, right? That you might not have a passion for, that you might not want to do. So you have to examine that as well, right? But that's my video. I hope you guys got some value from this video. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. You guys like, comment, subscribe. Share the video, if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.